Hello, and welcome to Our Devotions. We're together, we're developing lives with God at the center. I'm Daniel, and this is my amazing wife, Amanda. Hello, today we're gonna to be talking about substitutes, starting off in the book of 2 Thessalonians. So grab your Bible and get ready to jump right in. So I'm excited as we continue in chapter two, verse 10. Um, it, it goes through and it says, The wicked, um, and all the wicked, deception for those who are perishing, because they refused to love the truth, and mm -hmm. so be saved. Therefore God sends uh, them a strong delusion. And I, as I was starting to look at this, when they reject the truth, yeah. they require a substitute. Yeah. We will believe something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And there's this thing of going, will I, will I look into God's word to see what he says, or will I look for something else? And as he, as it talks about this here, I got thinking, and in Proverbs it says, to the one who's full, they loathe honey, but to the one who's hungry, every bitter thing tastes sweet. Yeah. And if, if we are full of God's word, if we are full of truth, the lies of the enemy have no place in us. Right. But if we are if we are lacking in the truth, then his lies are hard to distinguish, and his lies are abundant, and they fill us in its in its place, and it's not healthy, right? But it's common. There's a, a quote by George Wald. Now, if you don't know George Wald, join the mini. But yeah, like I don't know, he was famous, but it's been a little bit. In 1967, he won the Nobel Prize for physiology. Um, and medicine for some discoveries that, that he made. He was uber smart scientist guy. And, and this is what he said. He goes, when it comes to the origin of life, we have only two possibilities as to how life arose. One is spontaneous generation arising to evolution. The other is a supernatural creative act of God. There is no third possibility, but spontaneous generation was scientifically disproven a hundred years ago by Louis Pasteur, but it's Spelonazi, like I don't even know how to say that name, Reddy and others. That, that leads us scientifically to only one possible conclusion, that life arose as a supernatural creative act of God. I will not accept that philosophically because I do not want to believe in God. Therefore, I choose to believe in what, in which I know is scientifically impossible, spontaneous generation arising to evolution. You know you really have it out for God and a hate for Him. You're believing a lie and know it. Yeah, but it, it just shocked me, this, this idea that someone could be so opposed to the truth yeah. that they will accept anything even when they know it's wrong. Yeah, they literally, he's desperate to believe a lie. He, he, he looks there and he goes, I don't want to believe I have to give an account to a God. I don't want to believe yeah. that there's a... He already acknowledged that there's a creator, but he goes, I, I don't want to think about that, so I'm going to deny it and believe in that which I know yeah. didn't happen. And as I, I was looking, it just, it exposed the heart and how yeah. easy it is to, to, you know what, hey, that's hard, so I'm just going to believe this lie. Yeah. I know that the Bible says that that's wrong, but culture says it's okay, and that's, that's easier for me to swallow, so I will replace the truth with the substitute and yeah. with the lie because it's easy, because it's convenient. And it's this challenge of going, am I willing to stand and to hold on to truth mm -hmm. or am I replacing it with substitutes, right. with cheap fillers? Yeah, verse, it's 2 verse 12 says, um, who did not believe in the truth, but instead took pleasure in unrighteousness. And that's exactly what he's saying. He's like, I would rather live my life the way I want to and fill it with all the unrighteousness that I take pleasure in as opposed to having to change my ways to honor a God that I know exists. <laughs> yeah, and I want to like, just let us challenge our own heart because this is culturally such a big deal. Yes. That culturally there's so much that goes, hey, what, push that aside and here's what cu culture wants to be elevated above God's word. Mm -hmm. And they want to be the substitute that guides your life. Yeah. And if you do, they will guide it to hell. Like they will take you the wrong direction. Right. 
But if we're not holding on to this, we will fall for the substitute. Yeah. N nature abhors a vacuum. When you have, when you suck the air out of something, it fills it right back up. <laughs> like it, it being completely empty just it is a hard thing. And so if you remove this, something's going to fill the spot. Yeah. And it might be, hey, this is the opinion of everyone at work. It might be, hey, this is what they're talking about on TV. It might be, this is what I'm seeing on Twitter. It might be, yeah. there's a lot of substitutes that are all in line, but this is, needs to be our foundation. Yes. This needs to be there. And if it's not, these other things will take its place. Yeah. And these other things won't satisfy. They can leave you thinking you're good, but Jesus addresses this in Revelation. And he, he's in the letter to this, one of these churches. He says, you say I am rich and I become wealthy and I have need of nothing. He goes, you do not know that you're wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. <laughs> he just lays it out. And he's like, yeah. and, and it goes on there in that passage. And we may get to that when we get into Revelation. But he just goes, you think you have it all because you've checked your marks, but you've filled, checked the wrong boxes. Yeah. You're looking by the wrong standards. And so while you think you have it all together, you are in complete and utter lack and it's yeah. so sad it's sad but it's so easy yeah and it, it comes down to going am i full of the truth or have i fallen for the substitutes because if i let the substitutes become the standard then this becomes my story yeah when recognizing if you allow those substitutes god will allow you to live there and to stay in that like it says because of this god will send upon them a misleading influence so they will believe the lie <laughs> So if you keep rejecting the truth of God's word and keep believing lies, eventually you won't recognize the truth from a lie. Yeah, and it becomes the delusion of your choice. Yeah. And that is scary um, and that is destructive and it's not a spot that we want to be. Proverbs says that a wise person is hungry for knowledge while a fool feeds on trash. What are we feeding on? Yeah. Am I full of God's truth? Or am I feeding on the world's trash and letting that yeah. become my standard? And I want to challenge us to let the word be yes. our standard. To let it fill us. Yeah. To choose to fill up on it. Yes. Now let's get That's into our good. confessions. All right, repeat these out loud after me, okay? I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am loved by God. I am loved by God. The same power. The same power. That raised Christ from the dead. That raised Christ from the dead. Lives in me. Lives in me. I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I resist the devil. I resist the devil. And he flees from me. And he flees from me. My prayers are powerful and effective. My prayers are powerful and effective. I live generously. I live generously. Overflowing with God's love. Overflowing with God's love. In all I do. In all I do. Greater is he who is in me. Greater is he who is in me. Than he who is in the world. Than he who is in the world. I'm filled with the grace and power of God. I am filled with the grace and power of God. God, I thank you that we can be full of your grace, that we can be full of your truth. Yes, Lord. God, that you would give us eyes to see and ears to hear, that we would recognize what is true and what is lies of the yes, enemy, Lord. that we could reject Satan's lies, that we can mm -hmm. cling to and hold on to your truth. And God, that we would use your standards yes. and not the culture's. And God, that it would guide us, direct us, and make us like you, that we could reflect your image to the world around us. And I thank you for it, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We hope that this encouraged you today. If it did, please remember to hit like, share, and subscribe. Next uh, next month, or next week, is yeah. it already next month? Uh, this will switch to a post rather than a live so that uh, your notifications may change, but it'll still be up on Facebook and YouTube at 7 a.m. And we want to invite you to be part, um, to take part in God's Word daily and discover yeah. how much it has for you. Be blessed. We'll see you again soon.